Field by Fiona Keenan. Leaves blowing, roots towing, the line of soil into the world in coil. Around to bring those happy smiles, trees for miles and miles around the world. Some are thriving, some are surviving. By the skin of their leaves, some trees grieve because they are being cut down. Around and around, but some are being planted. Some have been granted the wish of life. Trees around the world, told they don't matter. All of that chatter, but trees keep us alive so that us humans can thrive. All those trees around the world. Types of trees. The larks tree, the regular tree, the tall tree, the blossom tree. T. Turns carbon dioxide, dioxide into oxygen, oxygen. R. Rain makes trees grow. E. Excellent home for animals. E. Essential essential to the environment. S, save the trees. The Maple by Sir Charles George Douglas Roberts. Oh, tenderly deepen in the woodland glooms and merrily sways to the bleaches. Breathe delicately the willow blooms and pines rehearse new speeches. The elms toss high pale catkins and the yellow beech lunges, but the tree I love, green wood above, is the maple of sunny branches. Very nice. Good work. It is amazing to think that something so huge starts at a, as such a tiny little seed and grows into a big tree. But what's even more amazing is how helpful even a single tree can be. Trees help our environment by producing oxygen, making air quality better, and recharging groundwater. Trees also give animals a place to live and shade for people and others to cool off. We plant more trees and we could make the environment better and decrease pollution. And if every person on earth knew how important trees were to us in our home, maybe it would get them thinking about the ways they could help our planet. So let's start planting trees and stop cutting them down. Anyone could make the earth a better place. I'll let it start with me. Um, I was in the passage of maple trees, down fell a leaf, and I knew that there you would come. Now among hundreds of leaves, I'm sleeping here, but you haven't come yet. Don't come anymore, dear, as from me may grow a maple tree now. Right. Good job. A Song of Enchantment poem by Walter D. La Mare. A song of enchantment I sang me there in a green, green wood by waters fair. Just as the words came up to me, I sang it under the wild wood tree. Wittershins turned I, sing it low, watching the wild birds come and go. No clouds in the deep, dark blue to be seen, th under the thick, thatched branches green. Twilight came, silence came, the planet of evening silver f flame. By darkening paths I wandered through, thickets trembling with do drops of dew. But the music is lost and the words are gone of the song I sang as I sat alone. Ages and ages have fallen on me, on the wood and the pool and the elder tree. Planting a Tree by Douglas McCarty. My field lay bare, almost barren, grass com comple completing with rushes. Nature's, n nature's sword, energy wasted, as if it was wait, as if it was waiting on me to decide, what life form will this, pro will this field provide? I finally decide on some local trees, oak, ash, and beautiful silver birch, some wild cherry trees and willow, then apple, pear, and a few plum. My field fi finally reborn new life become. I watched my field as the years passed, as the field gradually changed, gradually changed its form, rewarding me with its true rich treasure. I could never have found so much ple pleasure watching Mother Nature at her work, growing trees now towering over me, with new guests arriving almost every day, various little animals and birds of prey, bees, nectar, 
bees nectar abundant from cherry trees, wild flowers planted by the gentle breeze, rabbit squirrels never seen here before, now feed and play on my forest floor. A once barren field, now now an assist for me, uh, a, a world that I changed by planting a tree. Fact one. They provide... Um, these are facts um, about trees. Fact one, they provide shelter for insects, birds, and other animals. Fact two, they give us useful products. Fact three, they provide, they provide paper. Fact four, they are very beautiful. Fact five, they come climate change. Fact 11, trees conserve energy. Here in the town of Exeter, New Hampshire, a proclamation in the year of our Lord, 2023, Arbor Day, June 7th, 2023. And now I need to go to my glasses. The print got finer. Whereas in 1872, J. Sterling Morton proposed to the Nebraska Board of Agriculture that a special day be set aside for the planting of trees. And whereas this holiday called Arbor Day was first observed with the planting of more than a million trees in Nebraska. And whereas Arbor Day is now observed throughout the nation and the world. And whereas trees can reduce the erosion of our precious topsoil by wind and water, cut heating and cooling costs, moderate the temperature, clean the air, produce life-giving oxygen, and provide habitat for wildlife, and whereas trees are a renewable resource, giving us paper, wood for our homes, fuel for our fires, and countless other wood products, and whereas trees in our city increase property values, enhance the economic vitality of businesses areas, and beautify our community, and whereas trees, whenever they are planted, are a source of joy and spiritual renewal, now therefore, I, and this is from Mr. Const Papa Constantis, I, Nico Papa Constantis, select board chair of the town of Exeter, do hereby proclaim the 7th of June, 2023, that would be today, as Arbor Day in the town of Exeter. And I urge all citizens to celebrate Arbor Day by supporting efforts to protect our trees and woodlands. And further, I urge all citizens to plant trees to gladden the heart and promote the well being of this and future generations, right? Yeah. Dated this 5th of June, 2023, by Nico Papa Constantis, Select Board Chair of Exeter, New Hampshire. It shows how much the council cares about our environment, and we love doing fun projects like this about the environment. And this event is just it's something fun to help our community because last year we had to cut down a tree because it got struck by something, lightning or something. So um, we lost a tree in our community. So now we have two new ones, which is great for the community. I think trees are important because. They uh, make the community a little more greener. And since there are so many trees being cutting down for um, land, uh, I think it's helpful that we are planting more to kind of make up for that. Trees are really important for oxygen because otherwise we can't breathe. Like, unless Unless we want to go turn into, I don't know, the Lorax movie, Pay for Air, sure, get rid of all the trees. Oh. No, we need trees. <laughs> like, it's really good to have trees.
Well, I feel like that's really important for that, yes, and to get money. That's also why we need ports. It makes oxygen, which makes what? Wait, does oxygen make water? No, no, it doesn't make water. Okay, and help the environment, and they give like homes to like all sorts of animals, um, like birds, and also help us live and breathe because it like cleans the air. Trees, um. I like that they give me air. Uh, they also give me paper, and I like to draw. And they're also colorful in the fall. I, I, I like planting trees. I think that it's a fun activity for everyone, where we can get our hands a little dirty. What do you think about playing in mud? Are you a fan? Are you a big fan of mud? I don't like it. All right, guys, folks, you have a shovel. Oh, that's all I needed. I mean, that's good. <laughs> it kind of depends. If I'm, if, if I'm wearing, like, mud appropriate clothes, maybe I'll sit in there for five minutes. I'll be like, I'm done. Or, but if I'm wearing just, like, normal clothes, then I'm probably just like, no. So, yeah, I don't really like mud. If it's for something like this, like planting trees, sure, I'll go right ahead. Playing in mud piles randomly? No. So, I'm kind of the opposite of him. Working for school projects like that with mud, I will do it if I have to. Um, but then if I just see a mud pile, don't mind me just running and jumping in it. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, literally what I do when I see a mud pile. The guy, um, the one that was here that got hit by a lightning, um, we, the school decided that, um, before it died, we named it Bob. Mm. So, yeah. That's a beautiful name. Yeah. Uh, Give me some good names for trees. The, the amazing tree. <laughs> That's amazing. I don't know about that. This or a cool tree. Whoa, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Bob in Britain. Tree City, New Hampshire, USA provided the trees. Um, the public works guys dug the, dug the hole for us for both trees. This spot that's right below me here was the site of a huge oak tree that was struck by lightning last year and the stump is in ground. These two trees are going to try to replace a, a mighty oak. And now my love for you is so strong.